G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Fisherman's Office where last time we did some lure building, it was the uh, last of a series called Making Your Lures uh, or Lures Suggested by my Instagram followers. Now, um, the recent small stream shield winner by the name of Mark Whitford has a birthday coming up and you know, Mark and I have been fishing regularly together uh, for a good 12 months He's a great bloke, good mate, and um, I thought nothing better than to surprise him with a handmade lure. So I'm going to make one for him. That is exactly what this bit of pine is here uh, that I'm going to make it. Basically, jokingly, he said to me, well, about well, when I first started making lures, he's like, oh, make me a DR minnow that can catch cod. And that sort of was a little bit of a light bulb moment for me, so I'm going to have a crack at making a Daiwa DR Minnow replica uh, that would possibly catch cod. So it's going to be like 130 or 140 mil. So not a super big lure. You should still be able to throw it on standard gear, but it should also catch cod. Um, as I said, made out of pine, a lot stronger. Um, and also I'm going to have these lures uh, painted by a former work colleague of mine and a, and a friend as well. Uh, I haven't spoken to him for a little while, but I got back in touch with him uh, recently because I know he does a lot of airbrushing. So he's going to actually replicate the DR Minnow's finish in all the lures I give him for that one. So yeah, going to be cool, going to be cool. Uh, so yeah, I've already made a prototype of that lure uh, out of balsa. So I've got a good idea of the shape and what the action's going to be like. Um, pine obviously is a different type of wood so it's going to probably behave a little bit differently uh, it's probably going to be a little bit more dense and a little bit more heavy so yeah looking forward to it we're going to get stuck into it right now my prototype lure out of balsa which I've just sealed and swum test didn't have to look fantastic but this is kind of what we're looking at getting um, now it's going to be through wire construction not like this one this one's just got twist eyes um, I made this one just to see if I could replicate the jointed DR shape, which is pretty close, I feel. Okay, there's little detail differences and stuff like that in the in the body, but nothing too fancy. Um, this is just owner number one ST66 hooks. Um, I actually took off my broken pompadour just to test it out. I've got I didn't have any owners in stock um, when I used. Uh, when I went and bought new hooks, so um, I'm going to have to use the EMC ones, which is the ones I got. Now, it's going to be three wires, so it's going to come, the wire's going to come out the bottom of the lure here, uh, where the join is. Uh, the wire's going to come up through the bib, uh, which is going to be similar shape to this. So it's going to dive and behave slightly differently to a traditional DR jointed minnow, but uh, I want it to be you know, in line with the bib a little bit, similar to the way our native cod lure would work. So just adapting a few different things out of the species we're trying to ch chase so uh, and the way the lures are designed usually. So that's exactly, pretty much exactly what it's going to look like. Um, and it's going to look exactly like, in terms of finish, the favourite colour he likes to use in tr on trout is this one right here. So I'm going to get my mate to actually try to replicate that colour there, so gonna look nice. Gotta love a bandsaw. There is the two pine blanks.
doing two builds at once through these videos, so you'll see some of these work in progress as we go along. Uh, this is a wake bait I was making for the series, which is already done by now, so you'll know whether this was a screaming failure or if it was, you know, actually worked. So, yeah, I have sanded up the first one's main profile, just a rough sand, looking pretty awesome. This one's a non-jointed version because I forgot to cut the joint in the other one, so, uh, in that one. So, uh, this one, I've done the same. Oop, drop test. This one I've done the same, but yeah, um, I've cut the joint obviously, so uh, I'll fully cut that now. And then we're going to try and separate these halves. I roughly glued them together just with some PVA wood glue. Um, I'm going to try and separate them so that I can then start doing the through wire stuff. I was going to clamp and set these in with epoxy um, so that they're nice and hard and not going to move and not going to come out. So that's the idea. I'm going to try it with the non-jointed lure first. Just so if I bugger it up, I've still got the present yeah, and I'll try something different. And keep going. I used the fine tooth saw for the, with this pine before, but it didn't really work very well, so I was going back to the hacksaw. And I'm going to use that to finish it off. So. That's exactly what I wanted. Messed it up a little bit in here and in here, but there's only a very minute amount of glue and I wanted to stay, see uh, if I could create a join for the lure. Um, but also press in a through wire and, and make a, a bib that suits. Also, having said that, I can actually try and match these sitting them flat the profiles are very similar. Very, very similar. But you can see some minor differences there. There's a bit more of a bulge on this one. So that means that they're not completely symmetrical. Which means also that this probably won't swim as straight as a result. So there's too much material on this one. You can actually see it now that I've split the parts in half. But there's too much, just too much meat on this side. So I'm gonna have to sand this back um, to match this. Uh, so I'm gonna be sanding, looking, sanding, looking, sanding, looking for a long time. So yeah, while I'm waiting for this to set, I'll be doing that. So um, let's keep going. Guys, right, so update on Mark's birthday lure. I've got it, the through wire made on the front half, clamped together with, uh, you know, some epoxy. I've just sat the wire in here, so it's, well, with a, a piece of Lexan, just a spare bit that I had lying around. So that's um, why that's sitting in there, just to keep the wire down, so while the resin sets in, it's uh, it's not going to go anywhere, it keeps it down clear, so when I put the... Um, uh, when I put the actual bib in, it'll it'll uh, it'll slide in there nicely and won't be obstructed by any uh, you know resin interrupted. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it doesn't set in place in a different spot, and so I can't put the bib in later. So that's pretty much what I've got there, and that's it. So yeah, um, I'll be showing you how to do how I did the through wire, not how to do because you know. Let's face it, I don't really know what I'm doing that much. But uh, I'm going to do the through wire on the one piece. It's a little bit different to the jointed one, of course, but uh, you'll get the idea anyway. What I did with Mark's one is I've drawn a sketch here. This is the first, sort of the main uh, profile, first draft drawing, I guess you would say, that I've tried to replicate the shape of the DR. You know, it looks pretty close. That's just hand-drawn, basically, <coughs> off what I can see. My eye basically is what the shape is of the actual profile itself, uh, and obviously I've played a little bit around with this one. It was quite wide to start with. I've narrowed it up a bit. The way that the uh, the actual joints cuts a little bit different in this lure compared to you know traditional ones. They've actually got the the join this way, 
so it sort of goes like that instead so yeah a little bit different but that's that so the through wire for the uh, one piece is going to be slightly different and much more simple this is just going to be a wire coming up through here um, it'll dip down like normal come all the way out to the other end and then and then double back so I don't have to worry about putting second like a join in here which is way more simple and, and easy so and what I do is use my little uh, trusty little burr grinder here um, something I picked up I think was 35 or 40 dollars or something this is from Aldi it is a little ferrex thing um, does the job okay and yeah I was, I was pretty impressed with it really so um, yeah that's all I can really say about that so what I did before is I made the shape of the through wire um, by bending up a piece of wire I use a piece much longer than what I needed so I've got enough length out of the end that I can trim up uh, shape so I can actually angle it through the bib because uh, I want it to be completely through wire like a traditional um, Aussie native lure the wire comes out out of the uh, middle here and then comes up through the bib and then you attach a split ring to that wire so that's pretty much it Oh yeah, so I'll get out the ditches for the through wire on that one. I'll clamp that one together later. I've done the tail join piece and the wire for the other half of, of Mark's lure. That's what she's looking like at the moment, and it looks absolutely magic. Um, real stoked with how this is coming out. So yeah, this is the best build to date for sure that I would have ever done. So yeah. Um, I'm glad that I've made one before. It's probably what's you know benefiting me for that sort of stuff, uh, just for you know experience in building this actual shape before. So um, having a more dense wood in in pines helping me obviously work with the timber more without it you know destroying itself within five seconds like t uh, balsa tends to do a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mix up another batch of resin, clamp this little beauty in. And this is almost done, um, nearly done. I'm going to have to re I'm going to have to drill out some hole here, uh, so I've got some, um, so I can put some weight in here. But uh, essentially, it's it's pretty much ready to go. Yeah, as we did. And Mrs. Mrs. Fisherman's office gives them the, the thumbs up, that the uh, tick of approval here. <laughs> I'll get Jed out. Jed clamp it. Join in there. Hard to see with all the clamps all over it, but gonna be good. Rightio, Mark's lure. I've bent up the wire so that it'll go through the bib. I've cut two bibs, made one. That's it, just put the hole in the lexin so that the uh, wire will go through it. Then it's time to epoxy this baby in. Then it's almost ready to swim test because I'm going to try and find out where I'm going to put the weight and how much weight. Um, I'm going to, probably going to need to put as much weight in on this one as I would the um, the other because uh, the boss is way more buoyant. So I might not need as much weight as I needed for the other one. So uh, I'm going to experiment a little bit before I put weight in this lure. So I want it to swim pretty much exactly the same as this one. Uh, but obviously with a different material, much stronger, as we said before. So, time to mix up some resin and uh, get it happening. This is the moment of truth time, so time to do it. Look at that. 
So the non-jointed one is clamped up, resined up, ready to go. Mark's lower is had its first coat of seal up. We're ready to swim test that. And the bonus lure. Just for shits and gigs. <laughs> A little crankbait. They go well on yellows, I reckon. That's looking real good though. Loving that. Sweet. Okay, old mate's rotating now. So most of the bubbles or all the bubbles are out of that clear. Not clear, sorry, out of that sealer. So it'll just sit there now. And all good. So that's that one. Mark's is gonna get a second coat. And then that's ready to go. I've already put weight in this one. That's ready and set to go. And this thing swims amazingly good. So happy as Larry. Awesome. It's finally finished. Here it is. Pretty much done as it's packaged as a Daiwa product. <laughs> but this is what well, you got the not Daiwa tags there with a bit of a funny. All of this is accurate information too. So type 145F, 145mm. 45 gram Yamami color. That's the color that uh, Mark loves. So that's what I did. I've just done it as like a wide action cod minnow. Uh, just glued it on. Made this. Made this with my app that I make my uh, uh, thumbnails with. And uh, yeah, put it on a bit of cardboard after printing it. Glued it on. Pretty shit glue job, but you get that. Going to wrap this up. Send it to him. And next is his reaction. One other thing, SNL or SL Airbrushing is the guy who painted this for me in this colour. Um, now he doesn't really do lures too much. This is his first crack at these. Um, but if you're interested in any kind of custom airbrushing or anything like that, I highly recommend his work. Uh, he's a top bloke, and yeah, so I'll leave links and uh, things like that in the description where you can find him on socials. Uh, he's on Facebook, so. Uh, have a look at him. Uh, he specialises in motorcycle accessories, uh, like helmet painting, uh, but also he does like bodywork stuff as well. So he you know, paints tanks and and uh, guards and things like that. So yeah, if you're into that stuff and you want to check it out, go and check him out. And uh, thank you very much, Stacey, for your uh, patience throughout this time and uh, and having a crack and getting it done. They look awesome, mate. Thanks so much. Right now, so Mark's just giving me a call. He hasn't opened up his package yet. I asked him to wait until I got home. And uh, yeah, so I just got back from work myself, so um, a little bit less than prepared. And I'm actually gonna record his reaction on the uh, on the lure that I bought him, so let's see how we go. Um, yeah, so you'll see here, I'll put a little screen dump of the recording on, uh, on the go as well, so you guys see his reaction. And uh, we'll see what happens. It should be fun. Got your camera on, Brad? How do you do that? It'll just show. Hey, Hi. here he is. What's going on? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we've just got back from work and you got your package, so you can open him up, mate, when you're ready. Right, a very, a very, very late birthday present. <laughs> Couple of weeks. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Oh, it's a lure. Is it a lure? Yeah. There's a lot of bubble wrap. Yeah. I got heaps of it from when I had my online business, so I just fucking absolutely <laughs> <laughs> gotta get rid of it. <laughs> I'm 
Oh, it's a day army night. <laughs> it's like the biggest day army you know, on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Just make that. Yeah, the whole lot. That's fucking sick. Yeah. I've got a mate of mine to paint it. White action cod minnow. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I reckon you get a con on that, eh? Yeah, bloody hell. I try to make it sort of medium, like, like mid-water sort of diving. You could probably use it in lakes, but mainly probably rivers and stuff, but it's still a big, a big fuck-off dive with DR minute. <laughs> not diver. Yeah, not diver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, piss up. That's, that's actually really, really sick, eh? Yeah. I really yeah. like that. I can't wait to swim that. Yeah, it looks awesome, man. I'm keeping the packaging, but that's it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I basically just copied everything off the original packaging of a, a, a D-Armino, and yeah. I, even even the the size, the weight, and the color are all. Oh, really? Everything's like, exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the bibs, obviously different. Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I was. Application, yeah. Yeah, so obviously different application, exactly right. So, yeah. That looks really sick. Yeah, so they're VMC size ones, and they're the the forty pound light light gauge um, uh, yeah. decoys I usually use. But you know, you can change them out if you want, but they're still good, I think. That's sick! I can't wait to use that. Yeah, it's got like Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> loves it. Oh, I hope you had a good birthday anyway, mate. I couldn't hand it over to you personally like I wanted to, but you get that. Yeah. Yeah. COVID. For that. Yeah, thank you, COVID. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really cool, man. That's sick. Thanks. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> oh, awesome. Fuck okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. I'll call you soon. All right. Sweet as. All right, see ya. See ya. Oh, that was a funny reaction. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you want to see more, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Just keep flicking, guys.